Hello friends, Tony here. Now, if you have uh, created a Laravel project with uh, Breeze Starter Kit, you have noticed we have a new option. So here I am in the terminal and if I try to create a new Laravel project, so Laravel new, hit enter. And let's give it a name, for example, just where to say Breeze here and select the Breeze Starter Kit. As we can see, we have an option with Blade with Alpine. Okay, then we have this live wire Vault with a class API with AlpineJS or Vault functional API. Okay, now Vault with a class API, Vault class API, I have created a video about the live, the Breeze live wire Vault and with Alpine. But let's take a look to what the difference is between class and functional API. For that, I have created two projects and let's close this. Yes, quit. Here is the Vault with the class API. And as, as I said, I have created a video about that. So here we have say a new class extending the component. And we use the layout attribute, passing here the layout, layouts.quest path. Also, we use the rule attribute, required string, and so on. All the same here rule attribute, rule attribute, and then we have the state public string, email, empty string, uh, password, and empty string, and remember, which is false. Then we have the login method, and ensure is not rate limited, and also the throttle key. Now for the SCML, I think is the same. So we have this auth session status, and then we have the form with the wire submit login, which is going to call the login method. Now let's take a look to the uh, functional API. So if I open this in the VS code, here is the functional API. Here now, instead of the attribute layout, we say use function live wire vault layout. Okay, so here we say use layout attribute so use live wire attributes layout in the functional api we say use function live wire vault layout and we call that function layout passing the layouts dot guest the same we pass here also for the rules we use the function live wire vault rules and we call rules here passing the email password and remember so this is the same we have also in the requests. Then we use the state function. We pass in here, the we call the state and pass in an array with all the states. For the example, we have here email, empty string, password is also the empty string and remember is a boolean false. And then we have the function login. And as I said, the HTML is the same. Now, what you like? Do you like the functional API or the class API? Uh, I think this functional API is more like uh, Next.js. So we just use layout rules and states. So in the Next.js, for example, you can import the methods and then call the methods here. Instead, in the class API, is more than like the, it's looking like a PHP. So we have a class here, extending the component, and inside the class we make all the logic. We use the new attributes, so the layout attribute, the rule attributes, which is new, and then we have the public function login. Uh, I think I prefer this over the functional API. But also this, the functional API is new and maybe you like this one better. Now, that's it all about this video. I just wanted to show you we have a new breeze with a Vault functional API and what's the difference. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. See you in the next video.